They weren't just chasing a rank. They stayed steady when it got hard. They breathed through the doubt. They rested, recharged and rose. They kept their vitals intact. Today, they don't just rank. They embody the rhythm of resilience. Uh, good evening, everyone. So uh, I again have the pleasure of having a really good rank from the DBMCI, DBMCI Foundation batch, that is Dr. Harsh Goyal. He secured a stupendous rank of uh, 32 in his first attempt after just after internship, after completing his MBBS from uh, NDMC Medical College at Delhi. So welcome, Harsh. Congratulations once again. Uh, 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 how are you feeling, Harsh? Uh, how is this rank feeling? Properly euphoric. Like yeah, I entered in a parallel universe. <laughs> great, great. That's what happens when you get a great rank. But obviously, uh, you might have entered a different universe, but the fact remains that you worked really hard for this. And that's why uh, you are feeling that euphoric after this uh, success. So, uh, Harsh, I won't waste time. I'll directly dive into. Uh, you are a foundation batch student. You joined uh, DBMCI 1. You joined DBMCI foundation batch in the third year. So, nowadays... Uh, uh, if when a person is in third year and a person or third or fourth year, whenever they decide that they want to take need BG coaching, uh, they are found they are they are they are they are first the very first question that they ask themselves is ki, uh, I can join an online coaching, I can use recorded videos, make my own schedule, uh kuch se karunga, basically, right? Or you uh, someone there are people like you who join a face to face batch, they will someone come in front of me, they're going to teach me, I'm going to make notes. Uh how did you come to the conclusion and what is your advice also? How did you come to the conclusion? Nahi, I'm online jaunga. I'll join the face-to-face -face batch and uh, make my own notes in third and fourth year. You're a foundation student. Uh, what was the decision-making process? If you can tell uh, our people who are watching this interview about that. Uh, sir, uh, during the lockdown period, I completely understood that uh, I cannot uh, study efficiently uh, through the online mode. Because uh, I cannot uh, start, I cannot sit in front of screen for a, for a long stretch for around four to five hours. So uh, I was completely sure that I would go only for the offline coaching and not for the online coaching. So that's the main reason uh, due to which I joined DBMCI. Because uh, the uh, environment in the offline class, the environment in the offline, the place where the offline class occurs and the environment the teacher makes is completely wholesome so it uh, enables you to keep the study for long hours to uh, stretch the study for eight to ten hours uh, the class of the dbmc have uh, occurs for uh, around 10 to 12 hours uh, daily when uh, we were in third year uh, we used to have classes in the friday saturday sunday from 9 a.m to 9 p.m around so it is possible only in the offline class not in the uh, online class per se Hello, so that I think was that was my main reason to uh, attend the offline classes. And uh, just a little, uh, thought as a sideways question, Harsh, mere se, that uh, do you think, uh, how should a student decide themselves, ki offline le or online? Le? Like, for example, in your case, it was very clear, that I cannot sit in front of a screen for four to five hours. So, efficiency kaise aegi? you need to study for those six to seven hours on a daily basis. So, uh, you decided that offline not offline. Uh, how should us, what is your advice to someone who's coming in third and fourth year? Ki, should they take online or should they take offline? You know, obviously, you are an offline student, you will say ki offline, lay, but a genuine guidance from a senior perspective, how would you guide a student who's asking you this question? So, it depends on the person specific that uh, you must try that uh, you, if you are able to watch uh, the videos and lectures on a long stretch around four to five uh, four to five hours per day and if you are able to maintain the continuity and if you, if you are able to maintain the momentum in the online mode daily then you can go for online classes but if you are uh, wasting your time in uh, sitting home and just relaxing or diverting your mind is diverted in uh, different ways which properly happens in online mode so you must go for offline classes uh, you will sure have the benefit so, this is a very important thing you talked about, actually. That's the main differentiating point, which differentiate between the online and offline mode. If you are able to uh, maintain the your uh, continuity in offline mode, then you can go for online mode. If you are not, then go for. Definitely, Harsh. I think a lot of people, like you said, 
कि आज के और सरगुन मतलब अगर तुम चार पांच घंटे में टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हो कि वीडियोस देख रहे हो बट मतलब एंड रिजल्ट इज योर वेस्टिंग टाइम फोन खोल लिया है इंस्टाग्राम चल रहा है लाइक दैट यू नो ट्विटर चल रहा है थिंग्स लाइक दैट यू नो तो मे बी इट इज बेटर दैट यू हैव एंड वी 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 इन द फैकल्टी फैकल्टी एंड यू पीपल इन द ऑफलाइन वी कॉल इट एज फोर्स डिसिप्लिन यू नीड टू हैव डिसिप्लिन आइदर यू हैव इन ए डिसिप्लिन की like you said ki 4 5 ghante if you can sit in front of a screen let you to make notes great but if you can don't have that innate discipline by force discipline the class like you said will ensure that you study for those 7 to 8 to 10 hours on a uh, and you know ensures that you make notes so uh, sir what i observe but hmm. what i observe that jitni thakan of online coaching mein 2 ghante padhne se ho jati hai utni thakan offline coach mein 10 ghante ke baad bhi nahi hoti ye mera observation thi अब वो परसेंट टू परसेंट वेरी कर सकती है पर मेरे लिए वो था और वो शायद मेरा मेन रीजन था कि मैं ऑफलाइन की तरफ बिल्कुल कंप्लीटली शिफ्ट हो गया नो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग दैट यू टॉक्ड अबाउट हर्ष कि मतलब एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल मतलब आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल खुद को दे थिंक दैट दे कैन डू ऑनलाइन कोचिंग बट दे प्रोबब्ली वुड लाइक यू सेड दे वुड बेनिफिट फ्रॉम एन ऑफलाइन कोच उन्हें लगता hmm. है कि वो कर लेंगे बट टाइम वेस्ट करते हैं बट हो सकता है कि अगर वो आज में ऑफलाइन जाएं तो शायद वो एनवायरनमेंट की वजह से लाइक यू सेड ऑनलाइन में शायद वो दो दो घंटे ही पढ़ पाए बट वो ऑफलाइन में जाएंगे तो गोइंग टू एन ऑफलाइन क्लास दे माइट बी एक्चुअली बी एबल टू स्टडी फॉर 10 आवर्स एंड लाइक यू सेड थकान 10 घंटे में उतनी होगी जितनी शायद यहां पे दो या तीन घंटे पढ़ने से ही होगी दो घंटे एंड सो या सो यू जॉइंड इन द थर्ड ईयर तो कब तक इन द थर्ड ईयर ऑल द 19 सब्जेक्ट्स वर डन और खत्म क्लासेस खत्म हो गई नोट्स बन गए व्हाट वाज योर स्ट्रेटजी देन इन फाइनल ईयर एंड इन इंटर्नशिप एंड हाउ टू रिवाइज दिस नोट्स तो उसके बारे में कुछ कहना है सर व्हेन आई कंप्लीटेड माय नोट्स इन थर्ड ईयर आई स्टार्टेड आई हैव पीएनडीज इन द फाइनल ईयर ओनली बिकॉज़ वी आर हैविंग रूमर्स ऑफ द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम थैंक्स टू एनबी सो so uh, we were having tnd in the final year only so we were having uh, test per week or per uh, two weeks so i started preparing uh, according to that only and i uh, started revising my notes at that time i were i was not uh, uh, marking pyqs uh, major in majority because i didn't have uh, sufficient time uh, in final year so i just revised the notes did some questions did some pyqs and uh, gave tnd and uh, completed my remaining subjects by the end of final year which were like for example some of the first uh, subjects of uh, first and second year were remaining so i completed them properly uh, by the final, by the end of final year and i make sh- i made sure that uh, all of my notes are complete by the end of final year so uh, that uh, that was my strategy during my final year to give tnds uh, to revise notes so that i uh, i am uh, visually Uh, go through uh, through my notes and uh, complete uh, and make my notes properly uh, by the end of final year so basically your goal was ki third year mein to likhe fourth year mein you revise these notes so now we come to internship ab tak humne mcq practice ya pyq practice ki baat nahi ki hai so can you talk about a little bit about how did you practice mcq how did you practice pyqs and what how did you start with your gts a little uh, I, I'm assuming that they started in uh, internship because up till you said that time didn't get the MCQ practice. Clearly, I'm assuming that yes. internship is when you started that, right? So, uh, in the starting of internship, I made a plan that uh, I will pick up each and every subject one by one. Uh, did the custom Q bank of the uh, of each and subject, mark, uh, making the uh, text F as NEET, PG, and I N I, hmm. and uh, uh, mark the MCQs in my notes only. so uh, this was the main strategy uh, that helped in uh, obtaining this rank for me so what uh, what did i do uh, i used to mark uh, pyqs from uh, with neat and uh, ini tag from custom cubing you use maro if i'm not wrong right yes sir so maro mein you basically made a custom module with hashtag #neat and #ini ct simple yes sir then wo ek custom module bana diya basically 
Hmm. From uh, from these, I, I used to get the idea that from which uh, what topics the questions are asked and what type of questions are asked uh, in the uh, in NEET PG and INI. So I used to write uh, these questions in the notes or, uh, in front of the topic from which the uh, question asked, uh, and uh, I I tried to complete all the subjects by the mid or uh, by the uh, three four months before uh, the completion of my internship. Okay. So uh, the basically I did uh, I picked up uh, each and every subject, did custom, uh, custom modules, marked them, and then gave uh, subject wise test of marrow after completing each subject. So uh, as as helped in uh, assessing the uh, uh, the information that I have gained from the notes and uh, from where I stand, and uh, uh, I started giving duties in August September itself. And then uh, I started revising these notes again and again and again. So be a very simple strategy. Thi. Let's put it this way: third year, my notes were Final year, I revised them again. In internship, mein, by doing custom modules and uh, custom modules of essentially PYQs, subject-wise custom hmm. modules, hashtag NEET, hashtag INICT. Only notes have to be marked or written questions. How are these notes actually asked in the exam? And uh, a revision four five months ago, and then you did repeated revision of these notes only in 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 one yes. second. And from August yes. you started giving GTs. If I may ask, Pehla GT ka score kya tha? What was the score that you did first GT? I I got one fifty one hundred fifteen corrects in first GT. Okay, not bad. I think one fifteen is uh, great. And, and uh, slowly and slowly, we improve hota gaya hoga. If I'm pretty sure. Uske baad ek sa tis the, fir uske baad one fifty, fir uske baad one fifty seven aaye the. Great. So that's the that's the thing. Uh, I like think a lot of people get worried with their first GT score. But uh, I've done last interview. Usme uske hundred. Uh, he got a hundred. He was ranked sixty. He got a hundred in first GT. He got one fifteen in first GT. A lot of people did get scared with their first GT score. Ki hundred, hundred ten ke aspas aare hain. Matlab. But I think that's the people shouldn't worry. Uh, they will improve as you keep on revising your notes and as you keep on doing everything. So uh, you. बहुत ही क्लियर कट स्टार्ट थी नोट्स बने नोट्स को थोड़ा सा कंसाइज किया यूजिंग द पी वाई क्यूज इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आइडेंटिफाई किए नोट्स को फिर से रिवाइज किया एनी पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर द लास्ट टेन डे रिविजन लास्ट वन मंथ रिविजन सर आई डिवाइडेड द लास्ट वन मंथ इन टू स्लॉट्स द लास्ट ट्वेल्व डेज एंड द रिमेनिंग टाइम सो आई डिड माई फर्स्ट आई डिड माई वन रिविजन इन दिन लास्ट ट्वेल्व डेज फॉर वन फाइनल रिविजन एंड द इनिशियल डेज ऑफ द लास्ट मंथ फॉर वन रिविजन so i completed the one revision at that time and the last 12 days i was able to complete the uh, revision final revision uh, perfectly do you think the last ten day revision is important or you feel like nahi as i it was the most important it is the most important part in the neat pg preparation it is the most important. because you can remember you can remember such uh, such huge amount of syllabus without uh, being revised in last 10 days so it is the most important thing in neat pg prep to have whole some revision in last 10 days last 10 days i think this is what a lot of people do emphasize a lot of toppers do emphasize even i emphasize a lot ki last 10 days mein agar aapne revise kar liya entire syllabus so your rank drastically improves because there is a consolidation of everything that you you have essentially done and everything and for that it is important that you have good notes for that it is important that you join a good face to face coaching that gets you those notes That you are you are actually able to revise in the and obviously unko thoda sa concise kia perfect strategy like you know I think this is if you have a two year three year plan for NEET PG I think this is the perfect uh, to the point strategy what Hirsch followed third year mein he made notes abhi not thinking about NEET PG final year mein unko ek baar revise kia internship mein unko or you know uh, efficient banana using PYQs custom modules and usko usne last ten days mein last one month mein ek do baar revise kia and gave the exam. And the result is in front of you. He's rank 32, you know, and uh, he will get his desired college and his desired branch wherever he wants to. Uh, I'm hoping you'll stay in Delhi. So uh, yeah, so there is that. What he? It, it looks very simple, but that's the thing. Uh, sim- although it is simple, but it is tough to implement. But he implemented it to the T and got the rank that he uh, got the rank that he desired. Uh, last my parting words, Harsh. Uh, favorite faculty in DBMCI? Uh, sir, Thamim sir. I guess yeah. That's uh, this was my favorite faculty also. Is your favorite faculty? So great. Thamim sir makes medicine very simple. No doubt about that. And I think sir, the the strategy of the Thamim sir, sir. I I haven't met uh, in any teacher sir uh, 
the the way that Hamim uh, sir teaches to eliminate all the options in the MCQ to focus only on the negative options that this can be the answer of this question. So it was the one differentiating point that I uh, that I you I completed medicine in only in uh, half of the day in last ten days. So that was possible only with Hamim uh, notes. Hamim sir notes. So no doubt about yes. that. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Harsh. I think a lot of people would have appreciated this interview. A lot of people would have got, especially the third years, if you are watching this interview, uh, understand me. Uh, 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 well, kiya, just do that. Try to sit in front of four to six hours of videos online. If you feel you can do that, stick to that. Because obviously, it is more comfortable. You don't have to go to someplace else. But if you feel that I am time waste, kar rao, then do the same thing like Harsh did. Ki nahi, kisi offline ko join and uh, uh, be honest with yourself. Uh, whichever way, whichever platform works for you, that's fine. But uh, just be honest with yourself. And uh, he understood his weak point. He charge hunte nahi bed sakta. Use it as a strength. Made offline notes. Revise them. Did PYQs, GTS, and gave the exam and got the rank. Thank you, Harsh. Thanks a lot. A wonderful interview. Thank you. Uh, and again, congratulations again for this wonderful rank. Thank you. Thank you. The journey doesn't end here. Keep your rhythm. Hold your balance, breathe, reset, rise.